Hi everyone, Ted Nisi here on WPRI.com. Well, every few years, Bishop Tobin, the Catholic Bishop of Providence, has to go to Rome to confer with Pope Francis. All bishops around the world do this. They file a report in advance of that to the Vatican, laying out sort of the health of their local diocese. And as part of that, uh, Bishop Tobin has just put out what they're calling a pastoral profile. Uh, it's basically a set of numbers, kind of an x-ray of the health of the Roman Catholic Diocese of Providence. Uh, and the numbers are stark. It's no surprise that there are fewer Catholics in Rhode Island, fewer people going to Mass. Those trends have been clear for a while and are clear across New England. But it's still striking to me when you look at some of the numbers here. Uh, even as the state population has been rising a bit over the last uh, 18 years, the number of parishioners reported is down 39%, uh, going from over half a million Catholics in Rhode Island on the rolls as parishioners to just a little over 300,000. Uh, mass attendance is even starker, down 57% since the year 2000, from about 188,000 Rhode Islanders going uh, to just about 80,000. And of course, as we know, the number of priests is on the decline, the number of masses being offered at all is on the decline because of uh, number of parishes closing, etc. So uh, Bishop Tobin says in his letter opening this, you know, this is not a surprise, as I mentioned, but it's still stark. Uh, and he said there are good things happening, he argued, in the diocese with, uh, you know, efforts to reach out to the homeless, to help people pay for their energy bills. But he said this is basically the new the new normal for uh, sort of old fashioned traditional religious uh, communities in this day and age. And it'll be interesting to see, you know, do these numbers continue to decline? Are they leveling off now? Uh, and we'll be watching that over the next few years. If you want to see more of the statistics and, and understand more about this, you can find the article on WPRI.com.